Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. This is Lily and today I'm going to be doing a video for you as a follow-up to my hairstyle video that I just uh, published a few days ago. I wanted to give you an update about some of the products that I talked about and um, let's go ahead and get started. So in my last video I showed you guys that I had done this digital perm to my hair. Um, it was about a little over a week ago um, and it has stayed really really well. Um, I mentioned a couple of products that I wanted to show you so I'm gonna go ahead and show you what those are. Um, what I did today was I put in what's called an essence. Um, I wasn't familiar with there being an essence for hair, but apparently there is. Um, it was given to me by my Korean hairstylist that did the perm for me. So what it is, is this bottle here. Um, it's called Lee and Lee Professional Home Curl Essence. I don't know if I'm pronouncing this right. Um, I did try to look this up online and I can't seem to find this exact brand, but if you just search for like curl essence or curl cream, you can find some other brands that are out there. Um, this one I actually really like compared to some of the other regular curl creams that I've tried. So this one, everything on the back side is in Korean, um, except for this little chart here that says um, setting gloss and moisture. So all of the little boxes are filled in except I guess one of the setting boxes is not filled in, but every other box is filled in. Um, and the description here says, Lee and Lee Almighty puts nature in the hair using the healing components emitted by a forest. The phyton side contained in the Lee and Lee Almighty provides the hair with the healthy energy of the forest by suppressing the activity of microorganisms that are harmful for scalp and hair growth. Okay, so that is a very detailed um, <laughs> kind of like scientific explanation of what this is, but I'll give you my explanation of what it is and my review of it. Um, what it is, is it's kind of like a curl cream that can moisturize um, your curls. Cause I had noticed that over the past few days, my hair was starting to dry out a little bit cause I had just been washing it every day and not really putting in any product. So I felt like today was a good day to put some product in to just give it a little bit of moisture. Um, so that's one purpose of this. The other thing is obviously it looks more shiny as well. So it kind of gives it that gloss. Um, and then it also just kind of helps set the curls a little more and really just enhance them. So what I did this morning was I just uh, dampened my hair a little bit by just putting some water in my hands. You could also use like a spray bottle of water and just spray all around. Cause I usually wash my hair at night. Um, I don't wash it in the daytime. So it was already dry, but I made it damp. And then I didn't put too much of this at all because honestly I don't have much left. This is a pretty empty bottle. Um, and I need to get more from my hairstylist if she even has this one anymore. Um, so I just put like, I don't know, like a, maybe a nickel sized amount of the essence into my hand and just kind of massaged it into the ends of my hair. And I also flipped my head over and just let it work in from that angle. Um, and this was the result. So what I like about this is that you don't need to use too much. Um, I also like that it doesn't have a strong scent. Some of the other Curl creams and products I've tried are just way thicker and really, really strong smelling. So I'll show you another one that I still have that 
um, I need to finish using this. There's actually a lot left. This one is called Live Gain Motif Hyper Curl. It says fabulous for curly hair, elastic curl with nice texture, defined frizz free curl. So I haven't looked this one up online, but everything on this one is in English, even though it says it is made in Korea. Um, it says uh, excellent curl enhancer, double action ingredient, holds and controls curl without flattening or greasy feeling. Aloe vera extracts and proteins, perfect volume and soft hair, protection from thermal process, recommended for untidy frizz slash curly hair, men's curly hair, that's funny, um, apply adequate amount on damp hair and blow dry for volume. So this one, um, I have used it like right when I first got my perm recently. And it's just okay to me only because I feel like this one uh, is a lot thicker and also has a really strong scent. So I really prefer this essence over this curl cream, but since I have this and my other stylist uh, that did my perm a couple of years ago gave this to me for my birthday, um, I'm still going to finish using it, of course, just because I have it. But if I had to repurchase or just refill something, I would get this one if I can. Um, there's another one that I used to use a lot from my original stylist that moved away and I can't use him anymore. But I had this other um, pink kind of curl cream that was also Asian. I don't know if it was um, Korean because I don't have the bottle anymore, but it came in like a pump kind of bottle and it was a pink cream. That worked really well. That I would say that was like a good balance of these two. I might try to find that one too, but then that would mean I would have to go back to that old salon where my stylist is no longer there. Um, and I want to say that one was about $12 per bottle um, at the time when I used to use it and that one was a good one because it didn't have a strong scent and it wasn't too thick it was very um, I guess how this one says it makes your curls feel more elastic I felt like that had that effect on it um, I wish I had a bottle that I could show you if I find the link for it online if it even exists online I will send it to you guys in the info box below but yeah and then the other th one that I've ever tried which I don't have a bottle of it anymore was it kind of came in a bottle like this like a squeeze tube but it was the Mark Anthony curl cream and I'm pretty sure you can just buy that at a drugstore I haven't looked for it lately since this is my first time doing a perm in a while um, that one was pretty good, um, but I want to say that since I did like the Asian version of this digital perm, and since I have Asian hair, um, I like to just use whatever my stylist gives me from Asia um, because I feel like it works better with my hair and with this perm. But I would say any of those options are great. Um, I did say this in my other video, but I don't know if you guys have seen it. I'll link it below if you want to watch it. But in terms of maintenance with doing curl cream or curl enhancers, I would say you don't have to do it every day. I personally don't because I don't like to have to wash it out and I don't want to sleep in it either. But I would say that it is something that you should do whenever you start to notice that your hair is feeling more on the dry side or if you ever feel like your curls are starting to flatten out, then it's a good way to kind of protect them and also enhance them. So overall, I'd say that after a week, I'm still really happy with my digital perm. And I'm curious to hear what you guys think. If you have any feedback or questions about any of the products that I mentioned or about the digital perm in general, 
please let me know in the comment box below. If you enjoyed this video, feel free to like it by hitting the thumbs up button. If you are interested in seeing any of my other future videos, please subscribe to my channel. Um, you can just hit the subscribe button. You could also hit the bell notification to get an alert anytime I upload a new video. Thanks so much for watching and I will talk to you guys soon.